Hello everyone, welcome back to another review here on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at Otis, one of the few Cross 2 releases for 2024. Yeah, they really don't make Cross 2, do they? <laughs> but, enough of all that, let's take a look at his packaging. As you can see, there is a nice card art on the stadium background. On the right of his packaging, we have the Cross logo, Otis, the metal and metal logos on the left and right side corners, 3+, plus. as seen in Cross 2. It's only on a pal, World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen. It really speaks to how much Cars 2 stuff there is this year. So, a little disappointing, but at least they brought him back, which is pretty nice. Because when he, when he was released in 2022, so it was Case D, I think? Yeah, I never found that case. So, I was thinking, yeah, I'm never going to be able to find Otis. And his prices on eBay were really, really ridiculous. Going for like $50. And he thought I was a character that I would never get. But now, I own him now, and I'm very happy. So enough of all that, I'll be right back with him all opened up. Alrighty, so here is Odin's out of the package, looking pretty nice. So let's go over his brief appearance in Cars 2. He, he appeared two times in the beginning and at the end. In the beginning, he was stuck on the door like this, and Mado basically came alongside him and gave him a free toe, saying, Shoot Otis, I'll give you a free toe. And he does have his special holes underneath, in which Mado can tow him, just Mado with the working toe can tow him. So we will try that feature out in a little bit, but... I think it was really cool that Mattel signed out, find that out because, yeah, somebody named Mattel really did the homework and said, "Hey, did a Mato tow this? Why not put the holes underneath him?" And Mattel was like, "You still are getting a raise." <laughs> so, yeah, that was his beginning. He was, it was mainly to set up like the main message of the movie was that, and introduce the concept of lemons. Now, obviously, he was not one of those bad lemons like Acer and Graham, but a good lemon because he talked really nicely to Mato. And then he appeared at the end of the movie where. He was basically stuck in the world again, and a Mato is with his super speed rocket just towed him, and he ended up flying through the speed of sound and got him to remove the parts of the body yard. Unscathed somehow, I don't know how he how he survived that, but Otis is a trooper. I'll say that Otis is a trooper. Now going on to his releases, he was first released from China in 2012 with all the Cars 2 stuff and the border Cars the background, and then he later got reissued in. No, I'm sorry, not what you should re release in 2016's 95 Return series. So there was that. And then he got his first title release in 2022, Singles Case D, on the white background packaging because it was pretty much like this background, but I believe it had a different. It had the Radiator Springs background and the space he was white, not the red streaks that was going across the blister and inside of the packaging. So yeah, those are all his releases before this one, obviously. He's included, he was included in 2023 for Singles Case B, and then later on in 2024 Singles Case E. So yeah, he should not be hard to find this time, hopefully, because last year, uh, 2022, sorry, he was a little hard to find since he was only one case, and I don't really think he was in the half count version of Case D, which is really disappointing to, to hear, but at least he's in the half case of Case E, so if you want him, go to Walmart, maybe you'll be able to find him. But enough of all that. Let's finally take a look at the diecast for what it is. So as you can see, he has his nice smile. Very cool. I do wish they showed his teeth like on the card art. See that like if they had put like his this mouth on this diecast, I think that would have been better because when from a distance you can even, you can't even see he has a mouth. So I kind of have a similar problem to Randy, but I don't th I think it's less egregious on him because it, it's at least there. I just wish they maybe showed a little bit a little bit of his teeth. But yeah, you can see his headlights are there, nicely painted in yellow. We have his grill, which is nicely detailed with black spots inside of it. His um, bumper is a little rusty. Now, one thing I do like about Otis is the matte finish Tyler gave him, because when he was previously released from China, he had this weird glossy finish, which, yes, yeah, totally realistic that a rusty car like Otis would have a glossy finish. No, he would have a matte finish. So I think Mattel realized that and actually corrected it, which is very nice to see. It, it's very... It's like, it's like chalk, actually, yeah, that's like the best way to describe it, like, if you want to think across the paint, it's like chalk. So hopefully nothing wipes out, but I don't think it is. Yeah, you can see a lot of the rust and oxidation going across his body. His side view mirrors, which are actually, um, separate pieces from the main metal body, they're not fused like some cars are these days. They're not painted, but, I mean, that's expected. Now, his wheels are completely different, like, this side is fully painted silver, with the exception of that hubcap being shown. But on the back side, his wheels are actually spoked. Actually, no wait, it's only on this side that they're fully silver. Like, 
these three are completely spiked, which I believe the China one also had, so that's pretty cool that they got that right. And of course, he does have a different colored door than the rest of him, so that's also really cool. You can see more of that, some more of his details. The um, vinyl top, so is there. It's like in a vanilla yellow color almost, so really cool. On the back, you can see his taillights, which are nicely detailed, and his license plate, which reads 060562, and the text above it is too small and probably too grainy for me to read, so I'm not even gonna, gonna attempt it. But yeah, the back bumper has a little bit of rust and oxidation as well. Here's the side, and here is the base. We have made a Tyler, the two holes, and... Mm, is that a date stamp? Oh no, yeah, there it is. It's just, it's like really faded out. Let's see. Let's see. I think it says F forty seven A. So he's made. He was made in the forty seventh week of twenty twenty four at the A factory, which would make sense. If he was in case E. So this is not the case B version. This is most likely the case A version. Or case E. I don't know why I keep saying case A for some reason. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, that about does it for the review of all this. Now we will try the function and meter here. As you can see, has the two holes and. Yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that. Look at that. He makes a really good turn with him. Actually, I'd say he's better than McQueen because... I mean, you can't do that, but you can do this. You like, fling around like... Yeah, you can kind of do that as well. So that's really nice. Let's do it in the front. Looks pretty well in the front as well. Although I believe if, if you still have the beta with the regular size toe hook, it will fit onto this new Otis and McQueen's to have the holes. So you don't really need this one, but I think it's most likely meant to fit with this Mato, so... Yeah, so super happy that we were finally able to recreate the scene. That might be the thumbnail. Who's to say? Or I might do it like this, I don't know. I'll probably do it like this. But we'll just try to see. Let's make it drop away. Now, he is able to one other car, and that is fled from cars one. Of course, obviously, obviously they are different sizes, but I mean, that's mainly because Fred's never been the right size. Because, okay, so way back when, in 2008, he was initially released as big, like twice as big as this guy. So, like, think, like, think, think like almost made of size. And then in 2007, they were like, oh shoot, we made him too big. And so they made him like super small, like a mini racer. Like, like this, I'm like, well, come on, there's no way. They made a couple of the, couple of the of versions within the small model, which a lot of people didn't like. And then when 2022 came along, they did kind of fix for it. He's a lot more accurate in size, though he should be the same size as Otis, so... Yeah, there's a little history on Fred. He should be the same size as Otis, but this is what we have in Thailand, which I think is probably the best attempt that Thailand has ever given us, so... That's that. They're all slightly different in molds, but they're quite similar. What do you mean this? this Window here is not even painted, so I'll give the points to Fred. And he does have the um, painted side view mirrors, which Otis does not, unfortunately. Yeah, they're quite similar though. Yeah, I'll leave my link for this Fred in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. And yeah, that about does it for the comparisons. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Remember, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Joe Quick Kyle, signing out.